Manifestos of Ghana's two main contenders in the December elections are out. This marks the beginning of what would be an intense campaign season over the coming months. Vice President Mahamudu Baumia, who is the ruling party's candidate, will face off against former President John Dramani Mahama. Other candidates are also aiming to succeed President Nana Akufo Addo, who has exhausted his two four year terms. Political analysts, however, say Bawumia of the New Patriotic Party and Mahama of the National Democratic Congress are the front runners in the election, which will be held in December. In Ghana, no party has ever won more than two consecutive terms in government. Many Ghanaians face economic hardship, a reality that has dented the credentials of President Akufo Addo's administration. By extension, it has disadvantaged Vice President Bawumia's candidature. In 2022, the West African nation defaulted on most of its 30 billion US dollars external loans. Last weekend, both Bawumia and Mahama unveiled their manifestos, which promise economic recovery, job creation, and financial stability. 65 year old Mahama has vowed to scrap first year university fees, fight against corruption, establish a national airline, and reduce taxes during his first three months in office. During his tenure as president, from 2012 to 2017, Mahama invested heavily in infrastructure. He first became president in July 2012 after the death of President John Atta Mills. He then went ahead to win that year's December elections against Nana Akufo Addo. In his full term as president, Mahama faced criticism over power shortages, economic instability, and alleged corruption in government. The former head of state denied graft accusations. Mahama, who sought re election in 2016, suffered the loss against his familiar opponent Akufo Addo. The critics of President Akufo Addo say graft continued and even worsened under his administration, but the government has denied the allegations. 60 year old Bawumia, who has served as Akufo Addo's vice for two terms, has pledged to revive Ghana's economy, simplify the country's tax system, reduce the number of ministers by almost half, and cut public spending by 3% of the gross domestic product. Bawumia has also promised to provide digital training to 1 million young people to help them find employment. Both Bawumia and Mahama are from Northern Ghana, which is a long-standing stronghold of Mahama's party, the National Democratic Congress, NDC. The New Patriotic Party, NPP, which is the ruling party, has made inroads in Northern Ghana over the past years. In Ghana, a president is elected by an absolute majority, which is 50% plus one of the cast ballots. Mahama's NDC party Party claims Bawumia's NPP party plans to rig the upcoming election through the Electoral Commission. NPP has, however, denied the allegations. The Electoral Commission opened the register for people to go and uh, 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 look at, inspect their names. I'm sorry to say there's a lot wrong with that register. On December 7th, Ghanaians will also vote for 275 members of parliament. In the last election in 2020, NPP and NDC parties got the same number of parliamentary seats, 137 each, with the remaining seat going to an independent candidate.